G'day Australia, Panty here calling from Dublin. Australians all let us rejoice. Congratulations on an incredible result in the postal survey. Not that I ever doubted you, I knew you'd come through with a big yes. Um, but you know, Ireland and Australia have something in common now. We are in a unique position in the world. Because you see, we both sort of did it by a popular vote in Ireland, we did it by a referendum, and you guys have had your postal survey. Um, and, and I don't think we should have had to do it that way. I think it's a messy way to do it, and it's an unpleasant way to do it, as you'll know yourselves now. Um, and of course, the majority shouldn't be getting to vote on rights for minorities. Um, however, having said that, um, I think we are also in a unique position to reap the benefits of having done it that awkward way. Um, because Ireland and Australia, we're the only two LGBTI communities in the world that know to a percentage point what the rest of the country thinks about us. And um, because we had these big, long, difficult conversations and then the whole country voted, um, you guys and we guys, um, we are in a very secure position in, in our respective countries. I mean, Irish uh, queers, we know exactly where we stand. And it also feels like it's a done conversation now. Even the people who are vehemently against um, same-sex marriage, even they sort of admit it's a done conversation because we had the big conversation, like you guys had the big conversation, and you all voted on it. It's finished. And one of the other great benefits of that that, I, that we found here is, you know, in the past, let's say you were a young lesbian couple at a bus stop here in Dublin one night and you were holding hands and you might be a little nervous about that because you thought that maybe, you know, somebody might say something mean to you, um, you might shout dykes or something like that. Um, and in the past, the fear wasn't really that, that was going to be hurt, you know, you so much, but it was the fear, what would hurt was that the other people at the bus stop might agree with that person. But now that fear has kind of been taken away from us because even if some asshole does shout dykes at the young lesbian couple at the bus stop, well, that young lesbian couple knows that actually, asshole, you know, most of the people at this bus stop think you're the dick. And that is incredibly liberating. Um, so, you know, we did it the difficult way in comparison to everybody else. But, you know, having done it that difficult way, we managed to reap the benefits. So, um, good on ya. Um, I knew Australia would give everybody a fair go, and they did. So, congratulations from me, Patty. And the best part for me is um, that I'm coming back to Australia uh, all through January and half of February um, with a big gang of other nutty misfits um, with a show that we're doing uh, in Sydney and Melbourne. And um, so I'll be there and get to sort of celebrate with everybody. I love going anyway to Australia, but this year it's going to be extra special.